We like to be in Power Sports Show and we're here with Keith with Happy Trails. And uh, we've talked to you before yep. and uh, we've seen your groomers and we just want to talk to you a little bit about them because you know these are really cool. I've gone down the road of, uh, of seeing different products before and then trying to make them myself and thinking that I can do it cheaper. And sometimes that's just not true. There's no way because of you know different types of production, time and all that kind of stuff. And this is definitely something that I look at and I think maybe you know I can make that, but not for these prices. And I wouldn't even bother wasting my time yep. trying to do that. And they look like super high quality. Um, and anybody who has a piece of property or drives long distance like we do or works for a club is gonna be interested in this product. So why don't you tell us about what you have? So what we got, we got three different models. We got the 72 inch uh, side by side model, uh, specifically designed to go outside the tracks of a side by side model. Uh, the 72 inches gets you just outside that. Uh, we also have a 63 inch model, which is designed for an ATV with tracks, gets you just outside your tracks. Uh, we also have a 53 inch model for a snowmobile. Uh, a lot of the groomers out there are 48 inches. We go a little bit wider, gives you a little bit more play. Uh, does a real nice job when it's done. Okay, so what are some of the features of these units? Uh, Let's say you're, you're, wide, you're the widest one you have for the... So the widest one we got is the 72 inch. Uh, they are a non, no snag design. So they're designed to, to be bumped off trees. Uh, nothing hangs down below. Uh, everything is uh, feet, fed to the center. So they shave the snow off, feed it to the center, the packing pan packs everything out. Uh, they do have an option on them as for manual wheels, as you can see the one to our left here. Uh, they just flip down and you can move it around so, your garage. Yeah, you can move it around your garage or if yep. you're crossing a road. Yeah, or... you actually don't need you don't need the wheels to cross roads. They actually have guide plates on both sides. Oh, okay. So lift the panda off the road as you go and uh, drops back down in the snow when you get to the other side. So this is your baby, you, you created this. We did, we, we uh, did all our R&D on it. We've spent many years building these, getting all the bugs out. Yeah. Uh, we took them, took them to production two years ago and it's, it's going good. And you've had a lot of sales. We have, we, uh, we did very well. Why, well did you, why did you come up with this? Are you, uh, like, did you work for a club? No, I actually, uh, I got online and tried to look for one in Canada to buy a Canadian uh, product and realized that there wasn't very many out there, and the ones that were out there were very cheaply designed. Yeah, um, I've seen that too, because yeah. I've done the same search. <laughs> Absolutely, so when we got looking at, at what we could build, what we could design and create, uh, it's all structural steel tubing. Uh, we weld everything in-house. Uh, we, do, we do all the manufacturing ourselves. So if I'm ripping down the trail, my trail, which has a lot of rocks on it, yeah. and I bend part on it, then what do you generally do? You, you can bend them back. Uh, these are, they're very lightweight in the front. So 70% of our weight is in the pan where you're packing. Yeah, the so snow rolls up into the pan, right? Like I, like the it, snow dust and... It, it does, and that gives you the extra weight in your pan. Yeah. Uh, but the front of it is very light. Uh, so there's not a lot of weight on your machine. So what it does is when it hits a rock, it literally bounces off of it. You have to hit something real hard, real fast in order to bend these. Right. Uh, because there is a bit of flex in them. It's kind of like a roll cage in a car. They'll take a, quite a pounding before something really, really moves in them. Yep. Now what, what about adjustments? Uh, they're fully adjustment, uh, fully adjustable at the front on the tongue. So there's a there's a turnbuckle that you can lower and raise that adjusts your uh, cutters up and down. So different snow depths, you can lower it down, get into uh, like if, if you have lower lower snow, harder base, you yep. want to cut the moguls. You drop it right down, it shaves the moguls off. You get into a deep snowfall where there's a foot of snow, two feet of snow. Uh, there's a second adjustment on the tongue, which you can raise it up an extra six inches and go your adjustments from there. You pack all your trails and then you work at it from there. Yeah, yeah. So now I also now I also know that uh, notice that you have one with a little with little cutters in it. Yeah, so that the one behind me, as you can see, that that has a uh, ski tracker for cross country skiing. Right. Puts the two tracks in it. It also has a corrugator, so it puts the ripple in the snow. Yep. Uh, for for skate skiing as well. That one's mainly designed for cross country skiing. Yep. That option can be added to any of our units as well. Now, what uh, what are these retailing for? Uh, the 72 to our left here. That's uh, that retails at 16.99. Our 63 retails at $14.99, and our 53 retails at $13.99. And if they want to get them? 
That's a good idea. You can get a hold of get a hold of you. You can you yeah. know, make it make it happen. Or, yeah. or myself, you can go on our website. Okay. And we'll uh, we'll get you in, in touch with you. That's awesome. Thanks very much, Keith. Thank I you.